Jamaica is now very ready. We have developed the infrastructure to secure the quantities of uh, testing uh, reagents and or to enable the viral testing methods that are approved by WHO, PAHO, and approved also by the CDC and um, the FDA. So all visitors who come to Jamaica will be able to access uh, whether antigen, PCR, or whatever approved uh, testing arrangements of, and to enable them to fulfill the requirements of their respective countries for re-entry. Well, the task force um, has done a wide range of work, one of which is to assess and determine the capacity to respond to the need for testing of all visitors going back to their country. And I'm pleased to say that that work is completed and we're able to report positively that um, the labs are all accredited and uh, sourced. Um, and we have also established two redundancy arrangements, one uh, close to the uh, Montego Bay Airport, and that's the convention center in Montego Bay. And the other one is in Port Royal at the cruise ship uh, terminal there. So what we're saying is that um, the team has worked with all our partners, the hotels, to enable uh, facilities at the hotel for testing at the hotel and or sample gathering at the hotel. Um, have made arrangements for technology uh, facilitation. So portals are established with labs that enable a payment sometimes to be made even ahead of the visitor coming to Jamaica. But at the seamless arrangement is in place to facilitate um, all the needs that the visitor would have to satisfy the requirements of their countries to return home. Um, I don't want to call the names, but um, I, my report from the JHTA is that all major hotels are providing the facilities. The smaller hotels um, are being facilitated through these centers that we're establishing in the resort areas. I've made reference to that besides the way the labs are distributed across Jamaica enables this. Then there's also transportation arrangements that will allow for movement of visitors from their small hotels, villas, and or apartments into these centers for testing. Well, there is a positive care management program that is being structured. The hotels themselves would be the first respondent in that they allow for um, visitors to stay on property in designated area to, throughout the period, especially if they are asymptomatic, uh, to fulfill the requirements to enable them to go back home. We are also concluding now arrangements for an end-to-end -end insurance policy that will enable uh, post-positive um, care for all visitors so that um, by having this coverage, you'll be able to seamlessly get into a care system. Well, the implications of these uh, new requirements are um, very, very challenging for the industry. The truth is that we already are uh, very hampered by existing um, uh, protocols and new ones now only add to, to that burden. Uh, it, it's, it's moving costs up, it's reducing volumes in, uh, and it is going to have implications in terms of the, the viability of some of, the, of, of, of the, the entities. There's no question about that. However, what it is not affecting is the quality and the high um, experience levels that the Jamaican product offers, uh, and that we are still the finest destination to come to, and, and that you can come and fulfill you know, your own passions and expectations. So what we have not allowed these um, variables to affect is the quality of the experience that you get when you visit Jamaica.